As a part of new curriculum in CBSE, students have to do an art integrated project based on Sreshta Bharat. The project should be on one of the Indian states in comparison with their home state. Ever since our last video, we had a high demand for project ideas especially on mathematics and science. This video is on the project ideas for all subjects including mathematics, science, social studies and languages. In this video, we will be providing you with links to reliable sources so that you can make your project with ease. Project on Languages Language subjects such as English, Hindi and second languages like Malayalam has got a treasury of writing style projects. For language projects, you can make brochures, say video or picture brochures for tour packages, you can write news reports or you can do video on live reporting or news art debates. Writing skills can also be exhibited by writing slogans, posters, dialogues, poems, stories, etc. Consider making animated stories or documentaries also. Write a dialogue between two friends or a dialogue at a call center of tourism department and so on. Advertisement writing is capable to exhibit your artistic skills. Try making advertisements for newspapers and television ads on some tour packages or educational institutions or native products etc. Every Indian state is blessed with rich language diversity. Indian literature had always gained international acclamation. To do a research on language and literature of the state is a potential project. You can also compare the literature of a given state with your home state also. Find a comparison between Malayalam and Hindi in our last video. Please find the links given below. It will help students doing project on Kerala and Himachal Pradesh. Social science is a study of social life of a community. Anything related to a society as a whole will come under social science, such as its history, politics, economics, geography, and so on. In geography, you can consider doing a project on the mountains, lakes, landforms, etc. You can do plotting of important mountains or rivers in a geographical map. The comparison of physical map of two states can also be interesting. Study about difference between elevations and disasters and its effect on common people can also be done. Himachal Pradesh is prone to natural disasters such as snow avalanche. Find more details in our previous video. A study on disaster management will also gain you good scores. In history, you can study on archaeological sites, prehistoric ages, British Indian history, etc. The freedom fighters and the freedom movements happened in the state can also be studied. The political history of the state and the present political conditions can also give you a larger probability to do projects. In study of civilian life, you can do a project on a wide range of areas such as income and economy of the state, religion, food habits, demography, etc. You can find a detailed study of this in our previous video. The development of a society can also be found by Human Development Index, Literacy, Crime Rate, GDP, etc. A comparative study of this also can be a potential project work. Mathematics We had a lot of requests to give project ideas on mathematics and science ever since our last video. Therefore, we will be focusing more on these areas. 
any doubts regarding this can be discussed in our comment section and our subject expert will be answering you as soon as possible. You are requested to make use of the reference links provided. You are also entertained to send mails regarding doubts. Let's move on. Mathematics is a language of universe. You can find mathematics in nature, architecture, music and so on. Most of the Indian states are rich with old temples and heritage sites. The beauty of these monuments arises from the harmonic arrangement and repetition of structures and decoration of buildings with mathematical methods such as tessellation. In all these monuments, you can find the usage of fractals, arithmetic progression and Fibonacci series. Fractals are similar patterns recurring progressively in smaller scales. Fibonacci series is a sequence of numbers invented by Fibonacci which has a lot of arithmetical and geometrical importance. You can find this pattern also in monuments and in nature. Arithmetic progression is a progression of sequence of numbers such that difference between any two consecutive numbers are same. In other words, it is a pattern in which there is a constant addition or constant subtraction of some unit. Another interesting project you can carry out in mathematics is using trigonometry and similar triangles and congruent triangles. One of this kind is here. Let us measure the height of a mountain which is in same angle of elevation as a mountain whose height is known. Get a good picture from the internet with horizontal distances marked. Measure the angle of elevation and take tan of it to find the height of any mountain. You can also find the height of any unknown mountain or building by measuring the angle of elevation from any two different points and calculate the height using the formula for tangent. Next project is to find the area. Graphical method of finding area is used to find the area of irregular surfaces. Get a good political map of your state with coordinates marked with good accuracy. Trace any one of the district or the state as a whole into a graph paper and mark the coordinates correctly. Count the completely filled and partially filled cells. Two half-filled cells can be counted as one and four quarter-filled cells can be counted as one. The complete area can be calculated as area is equal to number of cells into area of one cell. Then compare your answer with the actual area of the place. For better accuracy, make the cells as small as possible. Another project you can do in mathematics is contour mapping. Find a good topo sheet of your state from the internet. Enlarge a small area and trace the contour lines of that area with its values. The trace you will get is called a contour map. From the contour map, you can study the geography of that place. If the contour lines are clustering towards a point, it means that there is a change in elevation. That is, it may be a cliff or a mountain. Whether it is a mountain or a cliff can be found by evaluating the value of the contour lines. If the value of the contour lines increases towards the point of clustering, then it is a hill, otherwise it is a cliff. Statistics is a branch of mathematics which find application in many fields. This is a data analysis which I have done to compare the standard of living of people in Kerala and Himachal Pradesh. 
another statistics based on the income is done in our previous video. You can also analyze the vegetation, agriculture, deforestation, industrialization and much more. Statistics is widely used in making government policies, investment from multinational companies and also to plan the development of the poor. Another mathematical project you can do is to find the best slope. Before mountaineering, people learned about the geography of the mountain in detail. Some areas of the mountain are very steep and it's nearly impossible to climb while some portions are comparatively easy. Steepness of a place is a change in its vertical distance with respect to the horizontal distance. Studying the gradient of a mountain, that is, rate of change of steepness at every point, will help us find the best track to be followed to reach the top faster and safer. You can do this with the help of an available gradient map or contour map. You can also use the same method to find the best track to cross the river or a best path to reach a place and so on. Make use of Google Maps also. Science Science is a way of thinking and the best thing to do is to never stop questioning. Ask why in every phenomenon you learn about the state and there exists a project. The project you can do in science is limitless. We will be discussing some of the potential projects here. In chemistry, some of the possibilities are the study of soil. You can study and compare the soil composition, pH change in soil with place and its relation between soil and agriculture. The study of minerals available, its sources, potential ores, the process of oring can also be studied. You can also study the freshwater sources, the chemistry of native foods and so on. Finding important laboratories and plotting them in a political map or a physical map and researching on the importance of the location of the laboratory can also be done. Important scientists in the region can also be made as a project. Shall I give you some scenarios? The best industry that can flourish in Himachal Pradesh is considered to be electronic industry. The Nubra Valley in Ladakh is best for space observation. The ISRO stations in Thiruvananthapuram and Sriharikota has something specific to do with its location. Find out why. If you have an answer, comment it down here. Let us now familiarize with some of the potential projects in physics. Let us do with the help of an example. The state of Himachal Pradesh is known for adventurous tourism. Shimla in Himachal Pradesh has the only naturally formed ice rink in Asia. The ice skating and skiing are some important activities which attracts tourists. Let's learn the physics behind skiing. Skiing is done with the help of a pair of boards called ski and a pair of supports called poles. The ski is made in such a way that there is a good contact with the ground and equal distribution of weight towards the ground. Skiing is done on snow. Snow has very less coefficient of friction compared to other solid surfaces. That is, snow offers very less resistance to motion. When the person is at the top of the hill, he is at a higher potential energy. To start the motion, the person need to push his poles towards the ground to get the reaction force to overcome inertia. Once the person overcomes inertia, he moves continuously under gravity. The person stops when the gravitational force becomes equal to the frictional force. To increase the speed of skiing, People used to pull their body together in a streamlined position. This position 
offers less air resistance. Lowering of the body's center of mass also ensures better stability. At curves, the person inclines herself towards the ground opposite to the curvature of the path. It increases the horizontal component of the velocity of that person and prevents skidding. From the picture, you can also see the snow flies away in a straight line tangential to the point of curvature. Find out why and comment your answers. When a person is about to jump off a cliff while skiing, he will crunch his body together. This is done to increase the angular velocity and thereby the number of rotations to ensure safe landing. This is an example for conservation of angular momentum. To stop moving, people will align their feet in a V position called snowplow. This is to make the horizontal components of velocities in opposite direction and also allowing them to cancel each other. Similar to skiing, you can also find the physics behind skating, mountaineering, hot balloons, paragliding, underwater driving, off-road trips and so on. The cloth of the people is related to the climate at that place. You can find the relation between the climatic conditions and clothing of the people. Climate of a place is related to the wind flow, temperature, altitude, etc. of a place. A comparative study of the climate is also a potential work. Let me give you another scenario. In states such as Himachal, during very heavy winter, the pipes are not closed completely. They are allowed to drip continuously. Why? Find out the answer. If you have an answer, please comment it below. Before we finish, let us look into some of the important project ideas from biology. Most of the Indian states has a rich biodiversity. A research on the existing national parks and wildlife sanctuaries and the animals protected there is a potential project. You can also research on the endemic species of your state and also compare with other states. The lifestyle and physical structure of a species in a state will be closely related to its geography and climate. You can find some details in our previous video. A study on the biodiversity conservation and potential threats faced by species there can also be a good project. Some scenarios more. Do you know that the lion-tailed macaque is found only in Kerala? Do you know some of the migrant birds fly miles across to reach India during certain seasons? What can be those climatic conditions which favor the existence of macaque species? How would the migrant birds navigate through these long distances? Don't forget to comment your answers. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any other project ideas, please comment it below so that others can benefit from you. We request all the students to carry out these projects under the guidance and supervision of your teachers. Also, please like and share these videos with your friends. Subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos.